morning. Today I'm looking at example one in which I'm trying to find a, understand a local minimum out of section 6.3 out of business calculus with Excel. For that example I'm looking at the 3D revenue graph of a function in two variables and so my function is f of x is x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared minus 4x minus 3y. I'm going to wind up looking at tables, surface graphs, and some slice graphs. It's useful to have computed the partial derivatives. The, if I take the derivative with respect to x, the derivative of x squared is 2x, the derivative of 2xy is 2y, the derivative of 3y squared is 0, the derivative of 4x minus 4x is minus 4, and the derivative of minus 3y is 0. If I take the derivative with respect to y, the derivative of x squared is 0, the derivative of 2xy is 2x, the derivative of 3y squared is 6y, the derivative of 4x is 0, and the derivative of minus 3y is minus 3. To find the minimum, I want both partials to be 0. I'll use solver to do that. To find a critical point, it happens at 2 and a quarter minus 1 quarter. Before I get to using solver, I'd like to just look at the graph and understand what's going on. And so I made a table going from minus 10 to 12 in x values and from minus 10 to 8 in y values. That lets me know which is the x and which is the y on my axis because they're not quite balanced. And I look at it and the naive approach says at x equals 2, y equals 0, we have a value of minus 4. That's as low as it gets we're going to find out that that's not the correct answer. So I'm going to look and plug those values in. I've plugged in 2, 0. I've computed the value along a slice curve where I let x's change and compare the linear curve. Since the derivative with respect to x was 0, that's flat. And I'm still happy with thinking this might be where the minimum occurs. However, when I look at the y curve and take the partial there, I get a derivative of 1. And so this can't be the place where it's lowest because I simply go a little to the one side and I'll get a lower value. So I didn't have a lattice point as my minimum. I'd like to be able to figure out where both derivatives or both partial derivatives are 0. And so for that, I'm going to use solver, which lets me work with several functions at a time. So I have x and y. I've computed the partial with respect to x and the partial with respect to y. What I want to do, though, is go to solver. And I'd like to have two functions of two variables be 0 at the same time. I'm going to do that is I'm going to say b4 I'd like to make this 0 by changing x and y so I want this partial with respect to y to be 0 by changing x and y but notice I've added a constraint and my constraint is the partial with respect to x also has to be 0 now I can do that even if as in this case I'm going to go back and look at the unshow the formulas. It isn't zero to begin with. I didn't have to solve it first, but I'd like it to be zero. So I want the derivative with respect to be y to be zero while keeping the derivative with respect to x as zero. I'll go to my data curve, go to solver. I have my conditions. I hit solve. And it says at 2.25 and minus 0.25. One of the things worth noting, because it can cause problems, is by default make unconstrained variables non-negative. That wouldn't allow me to get a negative value there. So I need to uncheck that and say I'm willing to let x and y be negative. What we were told now is that 2.25 minus 0.25 is where we have a critical point. And so I'm going to go 2.25 minus 0 0.25 plus 
plug that in and notice when I plug that in that derivative is zero so it's flat so it's a minimum in the x value and the y derivative is also flat so it's a minimum in there I've got a minimum in both directions that's actually there is a critical point there it is a minimum that gives me what the minimum is thank you